everybody, welcome back. So this video I wanted to cover seizure first aid because I got a lot of questions asking what exactly you should do while somebody's having a seizure. So this is from National Epilepsy Foundation and they said the first thing to do is stay with the person and time the seizure. The reason why you don't leave the person alone is because you wouldn't just abandon your friend or somebody if they're having a heart attack, right? It's it's the same type of severity. You can die from a seizure, so stay there with them and time the seizure. If it's longer than five minutes, please call the ambulance. Another thing, as soon as somebody starts having a seizure or it looks like they're having some medical problem, always check for a medical ID. It can be a necklace or a bracelet like mine. I don't know if you can see it. Um, in the inside of the bracelet or the outside or on the necklace it will show your medical problem. I'm going to cover up my mom's phone number. Um, have an emergency contact. I don't know if you can see that. It says epilepsy on there. So always check for medical ID first that way you kind of know what you're dealing with. Next one is keep them safe. So that means take away objects that could hurt them. So say you are in the store and somebody has a seizure so let's just say they're having a grand mal seizure and they fall to the ground they start convulsing keep us away from harmful objects next one this is really weird if the person is convulsing lay them on their side which sounds really really strange i know but while you have a seizure some people throw up if they're laying down they can possibly choke and die so lay them on their side like this. Prop their head up with a small soft thing, so like a jacket, sweater, hoodie, anything small. And also, if they're wearing like a scarf or a necklace or something tight around their neck, loosen that. So if they're wearing like a, a shirt and tie, loosen the tie, unbutton the first button. That way the airway isn't restricted. Also, with my type of seizure, it looks like I'm sleeping. So even if they're not having a grand mal seizure, if they are having a seizure at all, Go ahead and lay them down on their side again if they could possibly throw up and choke that would be the worst way to die yeah i just thought i'd add that part in there next one i covered in my first video my second video i can't remember do not put anything in their mouth wives tale is put something in the mouth of somebody who's having a seizure because they'll bite their tongue off the intention is good but it can possibly break your jaw or your teeth so please do not put anything in, in their mouth while they're having a seizure. Also, don't give them water or food because they can't swallow. There's not really any muscle control going on. So please don't do that because they could possibly choke. Um, another one that I, I talked about was do not restrain. Please don't try to hold somebody down that's having a seizure. Last one, stay with them until they're awake and alert. When they start waking up, they'll be in their postictal state. I covered that term in my vocab video, um, postictal state is basically the waking up stage after a seizure. So make sure they're all the way awake and completely out of their postictal state before leaving them because waking up from a seizure can be very, very confusing. You won't really know what's going on. Sometimes you won't remember where you're at or what happened. It just is really scary. So please stay with them the, until they're all the way Okay, most seizures last for a few minutes. If it exceeds five minutes, please call the ambulance because that could get really serious. Another reason to call an ambulance if somebody is having a seizure is if they are pregnant, injured, or sick. It's the first time they've had a seizure. Um, the person doesn't return to their usual state, so that means like they seem out of character. They still don't really know what's going on. That's definitely something scary. You do need to call the ambulance because some seizures can be really serious. It can erase memory. I follow an epilepsy page and one of the guys had a seizure and it erased three months of his memory. It was really sad. So make sure they're their usual selves before you leave them. But if they don't seem like themselves, please call the ambulance. That way they can kind of get things cleared up and maybe something else is going on. Repeated seizures. So if they have a seizure, and then like two minutes later they have another one, call the ambulance. That is really, really, really scary to have seizure after seizure. And last but not least, this is the scariest one, is if a seizure occurs in water. And yeah, that could be really serious. Having seizures just in general is really scary, but having them in water because you don't have any control over your muscles or you can't move, it's it could be very, very serious. 
and you could possibly die. So that is seizure first aid. If you guys have any more questions, please comment below. And also while you're at it, please like this video and subscribe. That would mean the world to me. So thank you. And you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.